paragraph 54 of Mystery of the Eucharist in the Life of the Church reminds us, there are many people who have been attracted to the Catholic Church and entered the Church because they came to believe in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Our first U.S.-born saint, Elizabeth Ann Seton, is one of these converts. She was drawn to enter the Catholic Church after she witnessed the devotion of Catholics to the Blessed Sacrament. She wondered about that devotion. God's grace led her to faith in the real presence. While still an Episcopalian, she found herself at worship in her church in New York, looking out the open window and praying to Jesus in the tabernacle one block away in a Catholic church. On the night after her entrance into the Catholic church and her first communion, St. Elizabeth Ann wrote in her journal, at last, God is mine and I am his. For the rest of her life, her deep faith and pioneering service to the church in our young nation was nourished by the Holy Eucharist. As we continue on our journey of Holy Week, we recall to mind the story of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton and many similar stories that remain untold, hidden perhaps, lost to history. How many individuals do you know personally that have had similar paths of conversion, whether radical or gradual, because of the Eucharist? At the end of our passage from the first reading from Isaiah, we hear God say to us, I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Do we ever consider how that light of faith that we hold in our hearts is able to attract others to the power and presence of the Eucharist? How can we allow that light to shine in all that we say and all that we do for the glory of the kingdom of God?